Hamazaji works in 11 communities around the world. We have 11 community partnerships in nine countries. We're sitting right now in Brazil, where Amazaji was born about just a bit over 15 years ago. And this has been one of our community partnerships since then. We're hearing the rustling of large iguanas just overhead, but I think we'll be fine. Anyway, um, we're sitting in the city of Santarém, which is in the state of Pará in the north of Brazil, in the Amazon. Amazaji is the Portuguese word for friendship. Because Amazaji's mission statement is to empower communities and individuals through worldwide service and learning, I think that empowerment for the students happens inevitably through travel, through the experience of being abroad, of being in a new place away from home, and seeing and doing life through that lens. I think that it transforms your perspective when you are outside of what you know. You experience a new population, a new community. It challenges your notion of your connection to the people around the world and it makes you wonder, or we at least like to ask the question, are your actions, are your behaviors independent of the experiences of the people around you and, and far away from Amazaji you? Amazaji participants come to study, they come to serve, and they come to learn about a community through all kinds of ways. If you come along on a trip to Amazaji, with Amazaji to Santarém, you will be able to kayak on the Amazon and Tapajos rivers, which converge in front of the city. We go on jungle tours, visiting a forest reserve. We visit Alenquer, oftentimes, or Monte Alegre. These are two different towns that are mainly accessible by riverboat. In Alenquer, there are a series of three waterfalls that we visit. We go and spend a day. Uh, you can swim, uh, climb around on the waterfalls if they're small enough. When they get huge, you can't climb. I think that the bringing together of people across international boundaries, it's not just about helping people in Brazil, it's, it's about making those human connections. And so for me, that's a, an even bigger part of what goes on here. And I love it here. Probably the most memorable moments are always when we take the service learning students on river trips. We we take them completely out of their comfort zone and we get to watch and see how you know how they do their hammocks on a small boat, you know, close proximity to one another, sometimes people they don't even know. And and how everyone just loves it, how everyone enjoys it. That that's really memorable is when people really take to Brazil and they really enjoy their experience here. My favorite part about the trip would definitely have to be the one uh, beach we actually explored. You actually took a boat out to it, and it was an island, and we actually got there and then hiked up this whole entire mountainside, and it was just absolutely beautiful, and you would see the other side. We came back down, had this amazing feast. The most fun I had on the trip was when we went on a banana boat ride, because they kept trying to throw us off in the water. And Andrea got really scared of being in the water. <laughs> it happens to be piranhas in the Amazon, Sarah. Just a quick FYI to everyone who thinks that they should be scared. Teaching English at the Pastoral to the North, which is like the local YMCA type area. I've grown from Amazaji programs in the sense that I was able to realize the opportunities and the advancement that, that was presented to me simply by the place of birth that I was given. And it helped me to further appreciate people who live outside of the U.S. and want to see to it that they have the same opportunities that I have. And the trip I had four years ago really helped to shape who I am and what I want to do with my life today. Um, and has led me on the path to international development and ultimately back to, to Brazil this summer. I feel good about being with Amazaji because I have experience with them in terms of safety, in terms of looking at what's going on in the area, of providing the best of that area, and importantly, providing a very meaningful service experience for the students. My favorite part about Brazil was one, just because it's amazing here too, about like a week ago, it was one of those like hot mornings and <laughs> we were like breaking rocks and making cement and playing with the kids and you show one kid how to twirl, then all the kids want to be twirled. So we were twirling like a bunch of kids and it just started downpouring and it's like being like five years old again, just playing in the rain, got completely drenched, didn't care, it felt wonderful. I think one of the most meaningful things is the joy in their faces. The most meaningful moment here, there's actually been a lot of them, but one of them I was 
in the hole and this guy handed me something and I said thank you, not even thinking that it wasn't in Portuguese and he didn't understand it. But then he looked at me and said no, thank you. And I was just like really blown away that this really does mean something to them and it's really meaningful. And Like we might just see it as another brick building but they're going to use this to brighten their futures.